I knocked out the reinspection really nice. Uh, they actually completed everything, and I'm really glad that was the end of that story. If you follow us on Facebook, I uh, was trolling a, a builder, and uh, the builder, what happened was, is they put these lead jacks and they just cut a hole through a piece of I don't know like a rubber mat and threw it over the the lead jacks and I'll put a picture over here showing you what it used to look like and then I had to pull in the manufacturer call out the roofer and then the builder was like no I'm not fixing it it's not leaking <laughs> right now and I was like well I'm not gonna change my opinion and then uh, the then uh, Borel came back and agreed with me that it was not installed correctly and they came up with a solution on how to fix it the way they want and this is how they came up with it. Uh, I do, it, it doesn't look pretty but Borel said it is correct and it's done correct uh, and it doesn't appear to, and it appears to be watertight. So it's going to work. It's just uh, not what we're used to seeing. So if uh, here, here it is again, you know, I'll do a big picture and if you're looking at a roof and this is installed this is approved by the manufacturer uh, also there was like some weather sh stripping in the shower that needed to be improved and they wanted to make sure again that there was no moisture in the living room and I and I did that too as well so uh, pretty nice pretty nice to say that they're finally complete and then they're gonna go close on the home uh, now I'm here with Brendan and I'm gonna knock out this uh, I'm gonna knock out the pool panel sprinkler and let's see what else he needs me to do to maybe help him catch up <laughs> all right got, got brendan uh we're on video awesome oh, yeah video time yeah so we got brendan here he um how far are you into it pretty deep pretty deep yep. <laughs> pretty deep so about two hours into it he wants me to do the pool sprinkler panel and roof right mm-hmm yeah, any signs of water leaks or anything? Not yet. Not yet? All right, cool. There's some intrusion on, you might get some good footage of the stucco. There's okay. Some, there's some good water intrusion there. And yeah, I think I saw that in the back, kind of walked around there. Mm -hmm. Did you get the stucco to ground in the back? Yes, sir. Cool. And on the front. Oh, I didn't. Front and back, but not on the side and side. <laughs> You're gonna start singing? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, that's Brendan for you. So um, I'll show you some of the things that we found in a little bit. So in the pool, what I like to do is just let everything run for a while. So to help with timelines, what I do is I did like the initial inspection of like the structure and the surrounding areas, drains, lights. I'll check all of those before I turn on all the equipment, the surface bottom, so you can see everything. And then what I do is I go in, I turn everything on and just sit there and let it run for a while. So I have the furnace, waterfall, the spa running, get the try to get the lights on, and I just let it sit and see if it operates for a while. So what I'm gonna do now is I go and inspect the sprinkler system at the same time, just to keep my timelines together. So you can see right here though, it's all running real nice. All the, it looks like it's been recently serviced. Oh look, we got a small water leak right there. I'll check that out. Holding good pressure. So it's all running. What I found so far on the pool is the pool lights are out. That's a pretty common find. And you wanna make sure you call that out if you're a home inspector or a homeowner because that gets expensive real fast. You're talking minimum $800 to fix those pool lights if they have to pull them out and reset them. So while that's all open, how I get to the sprinkler system, what I always do is remove the cover off First, I count all the zones that are in place, check the rain sensor, make sure there's a battery in place, which uh, we don't have a rain sensor, it's been bypassed. And then I'll go through, operate each zone one at a time and uh, make sure that they're holding good pressure, none of the heads are broken, and I go through each item. And then you also wanna check the backflow preventer too. Those break pretty often, and you look around the shutoff handles, that's the number one place to find leaks. So we got some areas here that are wasting a little bit of water, explaining some flat work, but actually a really good tip right here is if you come over here and just get your boot and you put your foot on the top and you have pretty good pressure given, given back to you and it doesn't go down with ease, normally that means the whole line is intact and you don't have too many leaks or any leaks at all actually. 
So another tip right here, if you see dead grass, you want to make sure that you have uh, proper coverage. So you want to make sure that there's water over there. It's a good indicator that it might not be getting water, but here, obviously, you can see that it is. The lawn guys are going next door, so I hope you can hear me, but... So you always want to make sure that you turn the sprinkler onto the off position and then turn it back to auto and now we'll put it back to the original settings. Same steps with the pool. You always want to make sure that you put it back in their auto mode and put it ex back exactly like you had it. And uh, um, we're just going to document that we had a, a little bit of water leaks here. Our pool heater short cycled. So that's not something that you would catch if you just turned it on and you turned it off. So you, let, you turn it on, you leave it on, you go do something else and you come back and see if it's still on. So the pool heater needed to be serviced and the service light popped on. We did have some pool lights not come on. The GFCI uh, tr is, is tripped and it won't reset. And then we need some deco seal. The deco seal is always on the inspection report. So not surprising, but yeah, we, we found some good stuff. All right, I'm going to conclude the video. Brendan's in there writing the report right there. I'm going to go and put my data in there. I'm going to call it a day. I say that's a good day. I went to Katie, Sugar Land back in Katie. Uh, everyone is locked on and doing their job, which is nice. And then if you have any home inspections, questions, please give me a call. And then please always like and subscribe to the videos. We are so close to that 1,000 subscribers and pretty excited for that. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.